Hey Aquarius, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do a little weekly reading for you, but I feel like this reading might be a little more timeless. Um, but anyway, it's for the week of March 30th through April 3rd. All right, so this reading is going to have more of the flavor of the readings that I do, the messages readings that I do, the earth air, fire, water readings. So if you like those readings, you'll probably like this one. This is kind of taking a deeper dive into you and into your person. All right, so let's start with this, okay? So what do we have here? We have Lenormand cards for you and for your person. And then we're going to pull different cards depending on what comes up. All right. So let's see for you. We have. All right. So we have the bouquet. All right. So this can mean a couple of things. First of all, there's the energy here of love and romance towards your person. But this might say that. Um, you may not be together with this person for a couple of reasons, okay? It might be a new romance, it might be a new connection, it might be the fact that, you know, you want to apologize to somebody, but the number nine indicates that you are probably single right now, but you might have the energy towards your person, you know, you might have that, you might have a connection with somebody that hasn't been realized yet either, all right, so what else do we have for you? All right, so we have the mice. So there's something about this connection that you're thinking about a lot. It's gnawing at you. Hi, Bernie. Hi, Burn Burn. Are you coming in? Yeah, you're going to go in your house? So I lost Barney yesterday. You'll never believe where I found him. So... I was actually doing laundry yesterday and I went down and I took everything out except his blanket in the dryer, okay? And I came upstairs with the laundry and started putting things away and I realized Barney wasn't with me. He usually follows me everywhere. So I go back down and he's not down there and sure enough, where do I find him? I find him in the dryer on his blanket. <laughs> So, you know, wherever that blanket goes, you know, he is comfortable. So, I, you know, who knows, but, uh, but it gave me a little chuckle. So I thought I would share it with you. All right. So let's take a look at where your person is. All right. What their energy is towards you. Hmm. So we have the mountain. And then we have this number 21 up here, which breaks down to a three, which is about communication. But this mountain is about challenge. So this person might be a little bit shy. They might be shy in communicating with you, you know, no matter what stage of connection you might be in. Uh, this person might be a little introverted or they might be afraid to tell you something. Okay. So that's what we have there. And then what do we have? Look at this person also has the mice. So I feel like for both of you, there's the energy of really thinking a lot about the other person, but maybe not doing something about it. You notice the number for the mice is 23, which breaks down to a five, which says something here is getting ready to change, okay? Um, and that feels imminent. All right. So let's see, let's take a look. Let's use this deck. This is my awakening journey deck. We're going to pull a card for each of you. So one for you, one for your person, and we're going to see what comes up. For you, we have constantly learning new information. You know, for some reason, I get the feeling for a lot of you, this might be a new connection, a new interest, a new relationship, 
a new person. Um, you know, it could be somebody that, you know, has been around you for a while or somebody brand new, but the number 56 breaks down to 11, which is a master number of enlightenment. So I feel like some enlightenment is coming your way when it comes to this connection. So what's ever gnawing at you, you know, can be, it can be reconciled, right? So you also see that this card is in the light. So this particular deck will either be in the shadow or the light. You right now are in the energy of the light. Let's see for this person questioning sources of joy. The number 42 breaks down to the number six. Six is about love and harmony. So again, I do feel like the energy of something new here. This is possibly a new connection. This person is really questioning what their sources of joy are. If you are one of their sources of joy, and they're struggling to communicate with you, it is really, really bothering them. You know, it's something that they want to be able to do. Okay, so let's take a look at, we're gonna pull a pink card for both of you, because you both are in the energy of light, which means you're both in the energy of love right now. You might be falling in love. All right, let's see what we have. For you, we have, look at, divine timing insurance is given through problems and delays. So what this is saying is basically you have divine timing insurance, meaning that there's a payoff in some way here for waiting for the right time. And that might show itself as problems and delays somehow in this connection. That might be what you're experiencing right now with this mice card. You know, you're thinking a lot about something when it comes to this person and you're constantly learning new information when it comes to this connection. What does your person have here? Smug attitude makes you unattractive. So that's interesting. So what I feel like from this person, okay, you might be dealing again with somebody that's on the quiet side that might come across as a little bit cold, a little bit ineffectionate um, or unaffectionate. Uh, this card is saying that this person might come across as a little bit smug or a little bit off-putting and what they may not realize is that energy makes them a little bit unattractive and I don't feel like this is their intention though okay I really don't feel like this is their intention but let's see um, let's pull one of these cards for both of you One for you and one for your person. All right, so for you, a committed heart. So it feels like, you know, with these roses up here, you might have already fallen in love with this person. <coughs> Excuse me, your heart is committed here in some way. When it comes to this person, you might be frustrated at the timing of things. Things might not be coming together the way you, maybe you hoped, okay? What do we have here for this person? A flirtatious interaction makes a strong impression. Nice. So I feel like this is what you both might be thinking about, okay? There might have been a real flirtatious interaction between the two of you that put both of you into this, this mice energy, and it might have been the moment where you fell in love with this person, okay? Sometimes we can remember the actual moment when we fell in love with somebody, and I feel like that might be the case here. 
you know, for both of you. And, you know, this might have been, this might have happened while the two of you were, you were out for some reason. You might have been at a get-together. You might have been at a work function. You might have been out late having a drink. But this flirtatious interaction made a strong impression, I, I feel like, on both of you. Because, you know, we have the same looking card here, the same energy. Uh, we have a lot of the same energy here for both of you. So I feel like this is the energy of falling in love. So what is Spirit's desired energy for both of you right now? Let's see. So for you and your person, what do we have for you? All right, so we have karma. There's nothing from a past life that can't be addressed in the current life. Remember what we had up here, constantly learning new information and divine timing insurance is given through problems and delays. So you might be feeling this as karma. Um, you know, I'm not, uh, I feel like we create and crush our own karma. I don't feel like this is something that the universe does to us, okay? It's something that we actually do within ourselves to, to help us, you know, grow on our spiritual path. So, you know, you might be noticing certain patterns in your relationships that maybe you haven't been able to fully understand why something keeps showing up, all right? And there's nothing from a past life or even there's nothing from your past okay, that in this life that can't be addressed in this current, in this current day, in this current life, okay, so this, uh, whatever is frustrating, whatever is causing you to do a lot of thinking, all right, it might be karma related for you, but it's something that you've created for yourself in order for you to learn from it. All right, so for this person, we have sanctity. Through offering, even the most mundane problem can become sacrament. So, you know, there might be some issue here with this person, okay, that... It feels like there has been some type of offer made here, possibly maybe an indirect offer from this person um, that might be creating or bringing out a karmic issue for you. It, it, that's what it feels like. But it feels like it's, it's meant to happen that way. Both of you are meant to address something before this connection comes together is what it feels like. All right, so let's get a couple of these blue cards here. All right, one for you, one for your person. One for you and one for your person. Let's just see what this what comes up here. These could be little mini messages. All right, so we have arrangement. So what is this about? What is this about for you? Arrangement and what else? Her. Okay, so if you are the feminine, there's some arrangement that you might have made or that you might have. So 
some type of arrangement that's around divine timing. You have a committed heart to somebody here. I'm not pulling tarot on cards to clarify. So it's I'm kind of leaving, you know, some of it up to you to kind of decipher for yourselves. But there is some arrangement around the feminine here. What do we have here for your person? We have sadness. Sadness, and what else? Lost in time. Okay, so what I feel like this is saying for your person is there's some type of sadness in their past. Okay, and when, when lost in time comes up, it feels like this person really can't put a, a finger on what causes them some general sadness in their life, but there was some incident in their life that, you know, has affected possibly every relationship that they have. Okay, that could be um, why this person, you know, is questioning sources of joy. You know, they're evaluating what really brings them joy in life. What, what they love, 42. What is it that they love? What brings them harmony in life what brings them joy in life you know and there's there might be some sadness about the fact that this person really struggles with forthright you know outspoken communication they struggle with it you might know that it really really bothers them they come off as smug they don't mean to if they're coming off as cold or smug you know, they might be putting up a resistance to people and ultimately it causes them some sadness. But through offering themselves, right, even the most mundane problem can become a sacrament, something to learn from. All right, so this for me is a little bit of a mystery. Okay, you know what? I just got arrangement with her. I feel like this is confirming some type of karmic energy here for you. But like I said, karma comes from within you. So this arrangement that you have with this person, whatever it is, you know, you arranged it whether you realize it or not to, you know, to cut out some type of karma. There's something about this connection that is special in that way that it helps you to remove some type of karma that you have. And this person might be the perfect person to help you to do that. All right. So let's take a look. We're going to pull uh, messages of clarity from your soul connection. For both of you, and a messages of light and alignment for both of you as well. All right, so let's see what we have here for you. I just care what others think about me too much. So this is interesting. You know, you've got this single energy up here. This might be an apology for some of you. You might be saying that to this person. Maybe this person over here doesn't present well to the masses. They come across maybe a little smug, a little cold, but you know them to be much warmer once you get to know them. Um, but other people might be expressing p opinions about this person not being very social. But there's something about this. I just care what others think about me too much. And this might be part of your karmic lesson here, something that you're learning. I feel like your heart is still involved with this person, might still be committed to this person, but there might be something holding you back from this person as well. 
What do we have here? An actual dream that feels more like a visualization or premonition. This could be something that you have experienced when it comes to this connection. You might be dreaming about this person. You might feel like you had a visualization or some type of premonition when it comes to this connection. All right. For this person over here, we have, I'm reminded of you sometimes when I least expect it. So you pop into this person's mind at random times, possibly because, you know, you're connecting on a higher level. Okay, so this person could likely be dreaming about you as well or thinking about you when they wake up. And, you know, when they wake up, they might be feeling some, some sadness or feeling like the, the love or the feelings between you might get lost in time. But I feel like this is past energy. Sadness and lost in time for this person, I feel like has to do with something that they've experienced in the past. And then for this person, we have allowing abundance is what brings it to you. So this energy here... Um, this might be something that this person is working on when it comes to you or realizing that by uh, instead of resisting, instead of resisting this, you know, the two of you might have a really beautiful memory between the two of you. This person tends to be on the shyer side. It's like allowing this to come in, allowing abundance you know, not putting up resistance, not being this in this energy of the mice, not questioning your sources of joy or questioning their sources of joy, but just enjoying, you know, instead of thinking about what makes you happy, just being happy brings this together. You know, sometimes we can think ourselves into into sadness as well, which is, that's not serving us. We can think ourselves into a negative energy. And a lot of times, introverted people especially tend to do that, okay? That's why they might seem a little more, you know, melancholy sometimes, right? All right, so let's get some feelings right now for you, what you might say to this person and what they might say to you. All right. I know we share mutual feelings. So this is coming from your crown chakra, your sense of knowing your connection to the collective. So you have some knowing possibly based on some interaction that the two of you have had, that the two of you do share mutual feelings. That's something that your higher self would tell this person. And then you also have, I see a rich future between us. This is the third eye chakra. All right, so this coming over an actual dream or visualization, third eye chakra, you might have had a visualization about seeing a very rich future between the two of you. This person over here, we have, I can be my own worst enemy. Okay, I feel like this person beats themselves up a little bit about how the world perceives them. So they know that they're their lack of outgoingness, their inability to create small talk perhaps, or their lack of interest in small talk, you know, might show up as being their own worst enemy. I feel like that has to do with this communication or challenging communication. What else? I have unspoken secrets that haunt me. Wait a second. Okay. I'm reminded of you sometimes when I least expect it. Unspoken secrets. I have unspoken secrets that haunt me. That's what this person would tell you. Now, this could certainly be related to the sadness or lost in time, okay, or questioning sources of joy, or really anything here. But there's something that they have 
unspoken secrets about that haunt them around their feelings, okay? So it's something that they probably wish they could tell you. And they can anytime they choose. All right, so let's get a feel for what's coming within this connection. All right, so we have nine of pentacles. There's that number nine again. And we have 10 of swords. And we have the world. So this can be um, a card of Capricorn. Uh, both of these cards indicate an ending. I feel like this is saying that this is going to be an ending to being single for you. Okay. Um, this 10 of swords you know, I feel like this person has kind of a, not the most positive outlook on life and how life has treated them, okay? And a lot of times when somebody feels different, I feel like this person feels very different in the world. And a lot of times that really, um, you know, can create a very negative outlook. I don't feel like this is betrayal in this particular reading. It might be for some of you, but I don't feel that strongly here at all. Um, this can also just indicate an ending. So can the world. It feels like a cycle. Karmic cycle, perhaps, is ending right now. And we have Nine of Pentacles, which is really the card of being single. So we have two cards of endings and the number one card in tarot for singleness. So I feel like ultimately what this is saying is that what's coming next is you're going to work out this connection. You know, you're going to both get out of this mice energy so the two of you can be together the way you want to be together. For some of you, this is a brand new connection. For some of you, you might be struggling within a connection. Or for some of you, you know, you might have ended too soon and it wants to come back together. Okay. All right. Aquarius, that is what I have for you. If you're looking for a deeper, more personal reading, you can certainly reach out to me. If not, no worries. I will talk to you next time. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great week. Bye.